To make the base of the coil pot, you're going to need, first of all, a name tag. Write your name and your room number, nice and clear, and then put that aside. Next, you're going to go like this and take a chunk of clay. They're cut in long bars like this. You'll probably need a little bit more than half to make the base. So I'm going to just going to twist that off and put the other side. Then I'm going to start by getting it into a log shape. To get into log shape, I want to take my hands and wrap it around the clay. And I'm going to slightly squeeze it. Then I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to squeeze again. And I'm going to keep doing that gently. Move the clay slowly so that there's no cracks in it. You want to rotate it so that it stays even. It's going to be kind of lumpy, but we'll get rid of the lumps in just a minute. So get it as long as you can without breaking it, doing it this way. Then it'll be easier when you actually roll it on the table. I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to roll back and forth like this. And I don't want to do, do, do it too fast because if you do it too fast, it's going to get uneven. And I'm going to move my hands from side to side. Now to make it skinnier, I'm going to gently separate my fingers as I roll it. That is going to put pressure on the clay. It's going to pull it as I roll. And I want to keep it nice and even so I keep searching for those long or those thicker, wider areas and keep rolling it back and forth like this. And when it gets to about the thickness of my thumb, about as thick as my thumb, and I think that's pretty good right there, then you can start to um, coil it up. Now you don't want to fold it like this because then you'll end up with an oval and you want to have a nice round bottom on it. The coil pot should start curling up like a spiral on the bottom. It should be very round. Roll it in around itself. Just keep going like that and push it. The clay is kind of sticky so it'll hold together, but you have to push it together too. Otherwise it may fall apart. Now, this is about the right size. I have these do plastic domino cups and these are going to be our guide as to how big to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this disc on the top opening. It's a little smaller than the opening. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just connect this here, but I want to make it just a little bit larger than that opening. Not much though. So I'm just going to take and sort of smash it with my hands gently or just kind of press it, not smash it. That would be too hard. And that's going to gently make that go a little bit bigger and oh that's perfect. That's just the right size. Now if you're going to do the second part of it in one day you can keep continue working. But if you're not going to do, if you're going to do the second part the, on another day, then put it on your name tag and you'll stack it up on your table and the teacher will take care of it and put it away um, for you to work on next time. To make the sides of the coil pot, you'll need to take your base, put your name tag aside, and you'll need another chunk of clay and I've got an extra one here just in case I'll need that. I'm pretty sure I will. And you're going to make a coil. Again, you're going to just squeeze it in your hands, rotating it, getting it elongated. Do this in little movements of the clay, not big ones. You don't want to squeeze it in one area too much. You want to keep it even and then you, you're going to roll. And you're going to roll it so that your fingers gently spread it apart. Try to get it as even as you can. You want the walls of the pot to be even so that it doesn't collapse. And when you get it to about as thick as your thumb, then you're going to start to add it to the surface of, or to the edge of your first base that you made, or the base that you made. Then I'm just going to go like this and cut that and then I'm going to blend it together just like that so that it looks like one ring. And I'm going to keep adding those rings until 
the coil pot is that tall. Okay, and you might want to just, just blend that a little bit inside onto the bottom, but not too much. You want to keep these wide. Now, if you pinch this, this is not a pinch pot. If you pinch these skinny, they will collapse. That's very important. And once they collapse, you have to start all over again. So I'm going to press this down to keep it wide. And you can't, you cannot keep crumpling up this clay and reusing it. It gets dry and then you're going to be out of clay. So you've got to follow that instruction. Do not pinch it like this. You press it together, but you don't press it thin because the next layer will ha won't have anything to be supported by and it'll fall apart. Now I'm going to keep making coils and I'm going to keep adding more and more to the pot until it gets taller, tall enough. Now this, make those coils, roll them, and then the next round, keep it just as thick as that first round, and I'm going to just pinch it there. Now make sure that it's the same size. If it's too big, it's going to fall over. It needs to be the same size, and I'm going to blend that together. And then I'm just going to take my thumb or my finger and I'm going to just blend those together just on the inside. I put my hand around the side to support it and I'm just going to blend that together on the inside. I want the outside to show the layers because when that's glazed the shadows that that forms is very pretty. So. And it looks like it's hand built then too. If we want a perfect pot with smooth sides, we'll buy that. These look hand built. That's that's the beauty of them. Okay, I'm going to turn off the recorder, and the next lesson will show how to finish it. What it's what it'll look like when it's finished. Now I'm almost done with my coil pot. I need to add one more round to make it as tall as the cup. It can be a little bit taller, but it shouldn't be shorter because this is going to shrink. We want this to be big enough to, to pot a plant into because these are going to be glazed and they're going to be waterproof. So we'll be able to plant something in this. And what you're going to do is just smooth it a little bit from the inside. Remember to hold your hand around the outside to support it. Never pinch. Never pinch the clay. That will ruin this. This is not a pinch pot. Then what you can do is look, at, look around on the, the sides and see if there's any places that you can smooth out a little bit. You want to leave the, the rounds in it so it sort of looks like logs stacked up, but these are circular. And then when you're finished, and if, if this is a little uneven, you can turn it upside down and just tap it against the table or just, just kind of turn it like that and that flattens that out again. You might want to smooth it a little bit too with your finger. Um, but don't pinch that skinny. You want a nice rounded rim. You don't want a skinny sharp rim. It might not seem sharp now, but once that gets fired, it's going to be sharp. Then put your name tag, um, just put your name tag underneath it like that and put it where the teacher tells you to. And that's how you do, that's how you make your coil pot. Um, these are going to be fired in the kiln, then they'll be dipped in glaze, and then they'll, they'll be nice and shiny and, and a bright color when they're all finished. Have fun!